Hello there, and welcome back to Cory Loses for the first attempt at another episode of the Revenge Revenge 0.3 preview playthrough as the Mandalorians. We cleared Terrace's space in the last episode, and now we are going to invade it on the ground uh, for the very first time. And we'll have a very iconic planet for us. Uh, it's got some money. It's got some other stuff as well. But mostly it's the other stuff. I'm worried about the turrets. The turbo lasers for no particular reason but i am going to try to use the basilisks i think because uh, i'd like to get the planetary shield down which is actually right there so, can we just go and destroy that? Then we'd be able to use our bombing run, at least. And it's pretty close, so that's good. Alright, let's get the artillery. Let's get you guys with the running ability. Those are our Neo Crusader assault troopers. Okay, the Warwalker's over here as well, which I think means that's the Advanced Vehicle Factory? Alright, um, let's get Barabins, and let's get Wheel Tanks. I'll send you for repairs after you've taken down the Planetary Shield. But I can't go too far up. Okay, I think I need that back in. And then we can we can land everything. Ooh, that's not great. Well, you did your job, so you're actually fine. But I don't remember where the Power Rangers are on this one. So I might need to do some Basilisk scouting. Scouting. The best news for Terrace in this playthrough is that uh, Malak and Revan are actually dead. So there's not going to be a Sith Empire to pull any funny business on them. We've kind of already subverted history, just a little tiny tad. I don't want to go too far up. But I need to be able to get everything in. Mm. Here, stay away from the anti-vehicle turret. We need the other stuff to, to kill that. At least we've only lost the one Bragman there. I might be able to AOE that down, actually. Just get out of there. Guys, why are you attacking that? Nice. We AOE'd it. You'll love to... Love to see the AOE by passing the shields. Okay, so what I need to do is get our little floaty basilisk buddy over here. Okay, there it is. You did a scouting mission for us. Great job. You're now going to go repair. No, you're going to deploy. 
Reinforcement point contested. He did just one pop shot out there. Look at that. Awaiting orders. This way. We lost I wonder if I can put this in a place where I can see that turret, but won't be killed by that turret. Receiving orders. As you I don't think that's gonna be possible. Beginning short range fire. Copy. Buddy. Work on your aim. It's a turret. It's standing still. Oh, can I actually still see that? Is that going to be visible? No, it's not. That was just the... I copy. The holdovers. Okay. Get back here. This way. Roger that. Reporting. Lancet proceeding. Ready for duty. I don't actually want you to spread out like that. Engaging enemy. Yes, sir. Engaging. Can you actually with the support of the I have the target in sight. Right there you go. Moving Look out. at that. Heading Great out. job. Destination ahead. Let's move out. Lance it targeting. Is it not on the map? I'm pretty sure it is. I think it's Southeast? Actually it might not be. I think it is. Like, it, it'd definitely be on the Jedi Civil War era stuff, but I, I'm pretty sure it's also in this Mandalorian Wars map. But this is like the small version of it, so I'm not 100% on that. There's going to be a larger Mando Wars map as well. Alright, that's much better. Uh, let's get some repairs up there as well. So I'm just gonna sell you. Move you up. Ready. We secured a build pad. And get the repairs. Alright. In the meantime, you can sit behind the structures and be a little annoying. And you can just drop a, a nuke on him. You can be our anti-turret. Alright, that is a tax agency of some sort. Oh, get out of there. Okay, let's find the government offices. Oh, don't like that. Squadron moving out. Almost there. Yes, sir. Yes, Commander. Ready. Always ready, sir. Moving out. Scouting. Okay. Heading out. Basilisk? Roger that. Did I kill the Basilisk? At the ready. No, I did not. Ready to receive orders. I've only almost killed the Basilisk. Proceeding. Waiting orders. Yes, sir. Ready to go. I was worried it got picked off on the way by by a turret again. Okay, I think this should be okay to go and get the tax agency there. I don't think there's an AA turret on this. Alright, well you can get that and then you can go for the for the other turret. Since Mandalore died early in the campaign, who are we going to choose to lead us to victory now? Me. I am the Mandalore. What a what a ridiculous question. Form up. Attack that target. Like I'm not gonna go through all that effort to get Mandalore killed. Only to not take the the role for myself. It's just a barracks left, and this guy. Battalion standing by, always ready, sir. Oh, run away, you little Beetleborg! You don't need to be down there. Okay, I think. 
That's putting us on the road to a, a terrace being ours. Okay, and we'll need to leave... Uh, we'll need to leave the fleet here for a little bit. Because we need to build up the defenses, as per usual. Though... If I scout out Flashpoint... Constructing unit. Building cancelled. Like, I don't know that we need to build up Terrace as, like, a fully defensive situation if we can move all the way up to Ethor. Let's actually see. Is Manon here? So I think Manon is around here somewhere? No, it doesn't look like it's in this map. Because it'd be over here-ish. I'm not great with the relative positions when stuff isn't on the map, because I always assume that maps are laid out slightly differently than they are. But... Constructing. Beginning oh well. Construction. So what does that mean for our next conquerings? Like I do think that Terrace up to like Zongorlu and Ethor are the right moves. I'm still working on my right moves. Because what do we have at Flashpoint if we leave that open? Turned angry? Oh, that's down here. Okay. Hmm. Tactical battle in Oh, that was fast. It's 400 pop cap, 19 of those. Yeah. I think they can have this, actually. Thank you, Esmond, for the 100 bits. Very appreciated. They're over here! Um, hmm. Great, great news for them, I guess. Not so good for me. Calculating jump to light speed. We'll have to. I guess we will have to be have to build up Onderon and then jump in when we can leave more here. Which is it means they can get to that other half or that other what four planets? Actually, no, because we didn't we didn't split up the other part. It's more than four planets, but it's not as bad as it could be now that Liana and Macum T are cutting them off there. So, not ideal. We'll sell that. They'll come in. Get our hypervelocity gun there. We'll have to let that just be how it is for now. Alright, Flashpoint is... It has a hypervelocity gun, but... It's not a planet that we're going to be worried about taking, I don't think. Like, it would leave us open on Terrace if they come in through Cathar. Um, so where do we want to move out, then? I could just go for Commonor. But that didn't really solve anything. Okay, you got a, a bunch of infantry there that I'm not going to worry about. Lost. Yeah, Commodore would give us Kuat as well. So maybe I'll do that instead of Ambria as the next target in the south. But I still don't want to leave too much undefended there. But as much as I want to take Zongorlu, without a hypervelocity gun on Terrace, I don't think it's worth splitting that up yet. I think we need to just continue on with uh, with some buildings. So let's get Spirit of Gargura back on there. Hey there, Black Wolf. Reva's Revenge, and Quivaldar. 
Soon we can leave Azure. Too close. Well, how is that looking? 16. I don't want to attack Onderon until we're sure of a bit more success. Or not Onderon, Commodore. You're not a full fleet right now. So let's get some more of them down there. Because we might use this to double back to Contrum. Because that's another shipyard. That's one of the ones we need to take. Because what is it? It's Boros, Contrum, Kuat, Corellia. So we kind of need to go up through here. Like, we take Commodore, we take Kuat, Coruscant, Boros, Corellia. And do we need anything else in the north? Not particularly. So if we get out to Ethor, that'll probably be the limit of our expansion in the north. Ethor and Cathar. I'd love to just go get Cathar, though. I think that might be the play. Honestly. Well, we still have Vision on it. Because that'll kill the fleet that we're afraid of attacking us through uh, through Flashpoint. Ready. And then we'd be able to go through Zongorlu if we keep a spy on Cathar. Even if we don't fully take it. Then at least we'll have an early warning and we can get back to Terrace if we need to. But hopefully we'll be able to just take the planet all the way. Enemy forces Take it home. Damn it, I didn't have a Pathfinder. Oh well. We didn't need to jump that close in anyways. Okay, I'm not going to move up that much. I'm instead going to let them come to us. Let's see if they do it. Bomber standing by. Roger. If they will take the bait. Especially if they're going to split off some of the forays there. I will not complain about that at all. Yeah, leave your, leave your bombers behind too. That's, that's fine. Heavy cruiser stepping you can do that. Okay, this uh this is actually really good. Heading out. This could not be more good. Bomber squadron reporting. Heading out. Roger that. Mm. Fire. Okay, we gotta get those Ready fighters. Destroying the launch bay. Let's split Bombers some of these the off. Pull them back. Fighters are going to come in. Fall out. Choose your reinforcements. Heavy cruiser stepping by. Com link active. Roger that. Heading for attack position. Form up. Awaiting All right. Order. One of the things with the bombers is you don't necessarily need to let them get the full runoff. Like if you let them launch the proton rockets and then jump back. That can be a lot safer while still getting some damage in. That was one of the intents with the with the reworks, but it was not really one that I think people use all too much. Alright, let's uh let's try to do the same thing. On some of these. Okay, they're gonna split off. That's even better. Bomber 
understand. I just want to make sure we don't send the bomber squadron bombers in in a way that's going to get them all killed. Because I do still want them for the attack on the Golan. Turn around. Over there. Get out of there. Engines activated. Yes, sir. Attack that target. Switch pattern. Switch pattern. I'd really like to get Bombers that mass of axe heads down. Attack that target. Watch your six. Hold on. Receiving orders. Try not to let one on your tail. Increase to full throttle. Because they're just going to be able to sit back and do a ton of damage. Let's get. These ones onto another axe head. And I think we need to close on them. Because they have too much additional range on us. With their heavy weapons, they're just going to keep getting the hits from farther away. Okay, I'm going to turn you around. There's no reason to keep it in when we're not waiting on reinforcements anyways target locked commencing run on the launch bay heavy cruiser standing by ready get you out of there attacking target awaiting orders copy i can't worry about holding stuff back for the station assault right now. I kind of just have to use all of our resources. Otherwise, it will be kind of difficult. Come on. Bombers, go on that one. No, you need to keep going. Yeah, what the what the VO said. It is still the axe heads that I'm most worried about. Especially, there's three more coming in. Kind of getting away? No. I need... Need more. Alright, there's one. Don't let that die. Uh, can you actually go for that? Alright, bombers onto the stalwart. Alright, move in a little bit more. And I need that on anything that's close enough, really. A lot of damage, but okay. Go for it. It's right in front of you. Bombers. Might as well go on that. Fighters. Don't let these bombers just fly around. Altiris. And Virgibweers. Need to get these bombers that have been hanging around in our in our rear. If you're up far enough to kill an axe head, then kill an axe head. If you're farther back here, then take out this hammerhead that's been just sitting on us. I don't like how much is still coming in, though. I think I need to... Maybe move in more? Maybe pull them back so that we can try to keep some alive? But we just don't have any bombers left. Standing 
We also don't have any engines on that if we do retreat. Okay, I don't think we can win with what's left. I think it's getting too risky. Hopefully we don't lose any more engines on the way out, but I don't think we'd be able to kill that much more. It's probably going to take a few attacks like it did with, uh, with Terrace. Man, of the Intern, Death's Boomstick, Blue Snaggletooth, Unpronounceable, The Very Angry Caterpillar, Veggie Burger, Weevil Underwood, Mandalore's Mantis Shrimp, Something's Bugging Me, and Temparus died. But we killed a big chunk of that fleet, at least. Not a big enough chunk, though, between the garrisons and everything. Alright, well, let's pull away from there. Can't let them attack us. They can attack over there. Oh, yep. They're back. Not great. It did... Like, it was enough to put us up a percentage point in the polls. But it didn't get us any territory. Yeah, want territory. I might check if Ambria is... Back available. Like, did they move their stuff away? Doesn't seem like it. Because, like, we know the 1600 fleet is there. So in the rest of the galaxy, they can't have more... Ooh, look at that. That's lovely. They can't have more than, really, what we've seen. Be any special buildings in Revenge Revenge, like shipyards or special landmark buildings? I mean, there will still be the corporation-style structures for whatever suitable with that. Just like in, like all the mechanics from Thrawn's Revenge and Fall of the Republic will be there in era-appropriate ways and planted appropriate ways. But that's the kind of thing that's like not a focus for a while. So it's difficult to say how much depth that'll have until. We have a bit more time developing the mod. And we have like the core rosters and stuff done. Alright, let's see how many more we can kill. No interdiction, but... It's also technically stronger transports because they haven't been rescaled with the rest of the ships yet. We at least got something out of that. All right, let's get our our army. On my and way. we'll move them all down, I think. We do still have the other northeastern army, but as you wish, we'll need them for an attack on Cormia. All right. And wanna, once we have the goal in one and the shipyard, we can probably move this fleet over. Well, we know they had a lot more than that, uh, infantry-wise. That's what they invaded with. Gotta keep building Onderon up. We're close to not needing to, to babysit that either. Okay, let's, uh, let's save before going in there, too. And that should be, like, another ten infantry squads, maybe? But we're getting in before they have a chance to build a structure. So hopefully if we move fast, we get the infantry they have there. Oh, you are not a Basilisk, you are a Baraglin. But it's fine. I'm not, not upset. Maybe we can get some nice money too. Well, in Thrawn's Revenge or Fall of the Republic, that would have been like 40 to 50 dead infantry squads. Hopefully this isn't a... Those? You know what? Let's, uh... Let's run. Okay, there's actually... There's more. There's more. That's fine. 
coming out. Advancing. Yes, sir. Let's go. Keep going. I copy. Attacking. We've captured an abandoned Reporting. mining facility. Mining facility destroyed. Order acknowledged. Okay, yes, I'm gonna sir. try to get the basilisks to help on this yes, side. Because there's Ready. the AA turret back Lance there. Standing by. Order, sir. Reporting. Aerial artillery reporting. This way. Nice. Please actually do your job. Attacking target. Help. Awaiting orders. For orders. Help them. Ready. Targeting. And there are more over on the other side. No, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Are oh, you? You're, you're fucked. You're fucked. I don't think we'll be able to get to that landing zone. Uh, do we have the artillery? Yes. That. That'll be helpful. Roger that. Receiving orders. Ready to receive orders. Form up. Okay. Even at a numerical disadvantage, having the artillery will make this so much easier. Can we have this right away? Zone? Moving to that area, sir. Looks like we can. Copy. Okay, it, it's it's two dudes. One. Two. Come on, there we go. Good job. We secured a landing zone. Artillery, more infantry, more infantry, more infantry. A wheel tank, why not? I copy. As you wish. Move out. Standing by. I guess that uh abandoned mine will cover for the infantry we lost in this particular battle. Doesn't cover for the infantry plus the structure that we we lost, but can't win them all. Oh, yes, sir. I didn't mean to. Activating. Oh, I, I could have moved that one. Sweet. Right away. Advance. Yes, Commander. Squadron moving out. Lands it proceeding. Order, sir. Ready. Command received. Fire at will. That area, sir. It can only be what forty squads total. Awaiting order. We got to be close. There they are. Let's Ready. move out. Where, oh where, are the rest of you? There's some. This way. Over there. Moving out. Reporting in. Found some Roger more. That. Advancing. Form up. Squad, move out. I'm gonna guess they're at the landing order. zone then? Did one of them? Yeah, there's a couple. Is that gonna be it? Right away, sir. We secured a landing zone. We secured a landing zone. Oh, I can get some. Nope. Load your weapon. Copy. I copy. We've got him on the run. All right. Well, that's fine. System control. Not ideal. Got a little bit. Maybe yeah. just just a little bit uh, slop on that. We're gonna have Onderon built up to the point where we can get a tax agency in a second. Uh, Terrace. I don't think it's worth getting the tax agency on that yet. Though I guess, hmm. 
No, I think we do want the hypervelocity gun there after all. So maybe we'll give up on some of our plans for expanding up north and instead we'll focus elsewhere. Construction complete. I'll move the ground Squadron units away from down. here. But I think the Macam T fleet is going to route. uh is going to Contram afterwards. So first we get back Mandalore's bath toy. Uh, I lost guns there. I do want to spend some money on the mines there, too. But I think the the Candosi is the first thing to get back. Because construction complete. Once Macam T is fully built up, we don't need to really be over here as much. We have the hypervelocity gun. Tactical battle imminent. Two forty-six. Yeah. If we can, if we can win this, which we should be able to, then that's another two hundred stack just gone. The enemy is approaching. Which should put us up closer to twenty percent. I'll be happy with that. I think the axe heads are the right move. I'm not sure if it will 100% destroy it. Yes. Oh, that even got uh, some some clipping damage off there. Ready. Captain here. All right. Let's uh let's get the Altiri frigates Heavy by. a little bit further back. It was what four axe heads, so that's not going to be any reserves. I think it was four axe heads they had. Hyper velocity gun available. Two left. Okay, let's get those bombers. Ready for orders. It's not like the the tankiness is all that much better with these, but with the gear mud up front. But we'll at least not die to some of the initial passes on the bombers. I think they must have just jumped you and you in. I'm not sure which we'll go for after the, uh, after the axe heads get HP gun. But if these get in range first, then I might even put the hypervelocity gun onto the stalwarts. So I think the bombers on that makes more sense. Right, guys, guys, let me let me click you, please. Okay, HV guns, or er, bombers on the stalwarts. Maybe I'll go for the forays with ships as early as we can. Because they've been allowed to kind of chip away at us, and it's a it's an easy way for us to just take out some of their damage early on. That'll never be as valid of a target for our HV guns. Like we can hit it with them or hit them with it, but is that going to be the best use of our time? I don't think so. Well, if you're going to park the stalwart in the middle of us, you gotta gotta do it to them. Stay on those stalwarts. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, 
Okay, I gotta try to move some of them away, though, too. Two hammerheads in the back. Alright, that hammerhead being in the middle of you should probably die. Alright, let's uh let's focus down them and are there any engines we can Not on that. Nope, that wasn't engines. That was engines. Alright. Not a full stack wipe, but I think we were going to start losing a couple more ships if that didn't happen anyway. So, losing Roach's Revenge and you're welcome for the point defense compared to all that. That's fine with me. I will take that. We'll pop them onto the ground. Construction complete. And where are we gonna move these? Construction complete. I think I'll actually put them on Mac MT for now. Because they should be able to handle a few defenses there. It's not like there's going to be a ton of stuff in this corner. So I think we're just going to go over here. And let's get a little spy. No, I, I want a little spy. Constructing unit. Construction complete. Building canceled. Got the hypervelocity guns. Complete. We're good over here. Let's get a uh, tax agency. And then we'll get all of our Shadlars back. So Temparis, Roach's Revenge, it's fine. Early Shadlar, Jacob and Hemskirk. Where else can I spend this money right now? We'll get the shipyards. Armar's asking, how hard is it for the EAWX team to make the starships of uh, all the mods feel cohesive with the art style of the mods? Uh, it's not as hard as it used to be. Like, when you... We used to have to do all the textures and stuff by hand in Photoshop. That was a lot more difficult. Uh, but now, with Substance Painter, with us all being able to use the same material sets, uh, that makes it a lot easier. Modeling wise, everyone does have slightly different styles, but like when it's the same core materials being used, it's a. Uh, you're gonna be straying a lot less from the same designs. So. It's definitely much easier. Like, we'll have a Mandalorian material set. We'll have, like, a co-op drive yard material set where you kind of put it on and then at least the basic hull plating and the style of specific parts is all the same. Uh, you still have to do a lot of manual work on... Get it? Ooh, that's a hyper-velocity gun in a capital shipyard. That's kind of scary. Uh, like, it does still take a lot of manual work to put together a lot of the details, but you're starting from a much more similar baseline. Your Before it used to be a thing. Oh, that's actually the capital shipyard and colon three. Used to be a thing where if it was a different person making the same ship, it would or making the same set of ships, there was a lot more variance in what you'd see. But even on the modeling side, it does help when like. A lot of the people on the team are like learning from each other. There's also some core greebles that we'll use that are the same. So, like when I made the executor model, I made a bunch of greebles, which are 
like the little superstructure bits, uh, they get used in a lot of places. A lot of the turrets work the same way. Uh, where we'll have like a specific core set of turret models that we'll use. Yes, sir. Attacking. Kind of worried about all that. I think we might lose another Kandosi. Let me go for the shipyard first. If we can take out the shipyard and then come back. I need to do this Squadron, bit target the more deliberately. Those laser banks are the primary target. So if we do that, then we come back. We're going to be able to win a lot more easily. They're going for the engines, aren't they? can keep the engines on that that's gonna be nope that's gone eh, that's still relatively successful it's not ideal but it's something we only lost Mandalore the artillery man and we'll just throw in the other Going two on you, Macam T. We'll get a going two on you. And we've got our mines and tax agencies. Did I ever get that back? I didn't actually get that back on Jebel. So we're sitting on a lot of potential additional money, like a Candosi per week. Because we're we're close to that point. It is annoying that we have to go so far around every time, but that's just the way it is. Okay. That shouldn't have been enough time for them to to build it again. This way. Dreadnought crews are ready. Tactical battle imminent. So there's still a Golan 3 and a hypervelocity gun, but there's no garrisons. And we might even be able to drop on the axe heads before they drop their fighters. Choose your reinforcement. So I think that's worth the risk. All ahead. Engines to fall. Moving. All ahead. Because if we can kill those before the fighters are in, that saves us a lot of time, which means our bombers can get to the goal in faster, and we're not going to lose another Kandosi to Hyper Velocity Gun. I think it makes most sense to just get on the fighter bays as directly as possible. Because if we can eliminate two, that's better than nearly eliminating five, but not actually. Didn't quite get there. Oh, well, I think that was still w worth the risk. Risk the worth. Okay, uh, I think I'm still gonna send the bomber straight after the Golan. So I think our ships can handle what's up here.
I do want to still focus down the the axe head. Then we don't have to worry about their fighters coming back. Alright, perfect. Alright, I'm even gonna send our basilisks our other basilisk fighters over to help protect the the Basilisk Bombers, well, the, the, uh, the Vabs stay back here with uh, the, the rest of the fleet. Though, it seems like there is no rest of their fleet to worry about. So, we can just keep going. We lost her to have here. Hopefully, that's all we're going to lose on the way out here. Don't be, don't be losers. Just kill the the bombers. It looks like you did. So thank you for your for following instructions. We should still be able to get through those remaining shields pretty fast with the Kiramud. All right. Smaller ships are pretty protected behind. Uh, I am not worried about Arcandosi, Mandalore's bath toy. I think we got it. They might get one more round off on that, but I don't even think that'll be the case. I think we're pretty well through. And that's the only shipyard that they have outside of the core. So I think that mostly just means the the stalwarts. But that's still a reduction in stalwarts is good. Because anything else that attacks, the hypervelocity gun can kill in one shot currently. It's too bad it doesn't mean they can't build axe heads. That would be a, a real benefit for us. Alright, we gotta get the trade port as well. Yikes? No, not really yikes. Alright. We lost Hugo to Rune, we lost Mandalorian playthrough, and Tagalu Cats. Over there. Which map is Contra, though? It's two barracks, turbo lasers, hyper velocity gun. Is that one? So if we take Contrum now, then I'll probably do a little bit of building up defensive structures between episodes and like reconstituting one of the fleets before moving out again. But with from there, we'll probably end up going to the uh, to the west and doing that loop around Coruscant. Like uniting with Basilisk and then go into the next one. Which means I think next week will be the finale for this playthrough. Yes, Commander. Heading out. Now Druid seems like it might last a little bit longer than that though. Okay, I don't wanna come across any units right now. I wanna just kill the hyper velocity gun. Let's move out. Let's go. Cut through them. Order, sir. Let's see, can we get up to that one then? No, that's not great either. Hmm. Awaiting orders. I might have to keep doing some. 
basilisk rating on this. At the ready. So I don't know where the power generator is. Is it behind this? No. Yes, sir. Let's go. Keep okay, going. Get back there. Ready to receive orders. Keep going. There's probably going to be another turbo laser turret looking here in the base. This way. Over there. Roger. Get up to that capturable turret. Oh, Come that's actually Stand fantastic. That'll make life so much easier. Oh, okay. Um, well, see if you can just survive at the edge there. And we're going to have to just use the the basilisks for anything proactive we want to do. Roger that. I don't love having to do this. Form up. Receiving orders. Awaiting orders. Firing. Copy. As you wish. Oh. Okay. If the turrets are going to be that big of a problem for you two, getting shot by those when I can't heal you, then stay back. Advancing. Do it again. Lands at proceeding. Command received. Right away. Okay. Don't have to worry about the structures anymore. Heading out. I have the I'm gonna destroy this just in case I have to retreat. Destination ahead. Yes, sir. Yes, Commander. Because if I can destroy that, that'll be the turrets gone. And can the bomber make it through? I think they've probably got a hyper, or not a hyper blast gun, an AA turret somewhere in there. I'll be kind of shocked if they don't. Yeah, they had, they had a few. Alright, well that's another structure down. the ready. Keep going. Copy. Repair station copy. Get repairs and then ready we'll see if we order. can get to another one of these landing this zones way. with some extra Reporting. infantry. Comlink active. Over there. That's not great. Engines activated. Receiving orders. As you wish. Unit destroyed. Order acknowledged. Roger that. Squadron moving out. Complete. Lands it proceeding. Command received. Okay, just get back to the repairs. Right away. Then we'll try to go to the northern one then. Moving out. Yes, Commander. Moving out. Form up. Order, sir. Awaiting order. If we had more Heading out. reinforcement Heading points. Out. And I think we'd be okay. Yeah, I think we're going to be able to get far here. We'll have to try to hold off this push. I don't want them coming up the path behind us. Luckily our infantry are pretty decent. I think I've just got to keep bringing in infantry because we need them to be able to go up the path. We did hold on that. Hold on. Yeah, hold on to that. Boarding in. Squad, move out. Ready. This way. Will we have Roger enough that. to take another landing zone, though? Lancet standing by. Aerial artillery reporting. Ready for orders. Warm up. At the ready. Okay, this is as close as Awaiting we've order. really been. Right but away. what? It was two barracks. They have a hypervelocity gun. Hypervelocity gun doesn't matter. We don't have orbital orders. bombardment right now. Engines activated. Heading out. Like active. 
So there's going to be a lot of infantry around, but beyond that... There's not going to be a lot of other big stuff threatening us. There will be a lot of the little skiffs, but they don't even really do their job yet, so... Oh, that's not great. Alright, well, let's see if that can come in. That's going to be right over one of these AA turrets, though. I was hoping to hit the AA turret with that. But, okay, we'll leave the Basilisk behind. Yes, sir. And hopefully that clear enough that we can take the landing zone. Order, sir. Squad, advance. Run in. Reporting. Attacking. Targeting. No. It's not gonna be what we were hoping. I have the target in sight. Let's move out. Let's go. Plant it. Targeting. Keep going. This way. Ready. Well, Maybe. Oh, there's the War Walker. Uh, can we get to that without a turrets as well? Think they're fine. And now we should be able to take this landing zone. Nice. Uh... Damn, we lost the other. Nope, no, 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 That's too bad. I really need that AA turret gone. Okay, we're, we're fucked. We killed a lot of the garrison. You know, oh, that didn't actually kill the the turret. Not great. I thought it was additional structures placed at the power. Oh well. Okay, we're gonna have to try to brawl in to the cell. But I don't think we can really get past the turrets with this right now. I copy. Reporting. We need right away. Order acknowledged. Yes, Commander. Ready for command, sir. Over there. Waiting your orders. We need yes, extra pop cap. It's really heavily defender focused when they have those extra units. And we don't even start with five. Order, sir. Inbound. Not being able to shoot that AA turret is definitely a factor. Okay, I think we gotta just try to go up there. Copy. I copy. Reporting. I yeah, that's not that's not gonna work. Yes, sir. To just get back to our landing zone. I think the reinforcement point reduction on this map was too much. All right, well, that is going to do it for tonight. I think uh, they were much longer episodes than I thought they'd be, so we won't be getting to Maldrude 
I'll probably record an episode of that offline for this weekend. But uh, hope you have enjoyed the series so far, and hope you're looking forward to the uh, the probably nearing conclusion. Uh, hopefully next week. But we'll be doing a lot of Jedi Survivor towards the end of this week. Uh, early next week, I should have a mix of Jedi Survivor and more Empire War. By the way, thanks again. Have a good night, everyone. Bye.